So we, we do know that there is an issue of bird flu pandemic that uh, is, is very much present and is not going anywhere. But the, wherever you look, and as Gerald said earlier on, uh, it's terrible. And it's going to get worse. And the denial is amazing. I don't, I don't get it. I guess when you see so many ex-millionaires running around now, uh, you know, you just grab any hope you can and, and clutch it. I'll tell you what our greatest fear is. If, there, if there's to be a bailout, they better bail out. They better do something in this country to deal with the growing underclass in, in, in America. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're whacked out on meth. They have absolutely no future. They've and been they have no fear. Hellish situation. And they have guns. And they're they not afraid guns. of going to jail they're, at all. They don't have any common sense. Their brains are whacked. Yeah. And now they're not going to have anything. And if you, it's going to be Mexico City. You're going to see kidnappings. And and I and I mean this with all seriousness. For ransom, you they, if they can put, if they can spend, you know, was it how much did we give Citigroup already? About three hundred and ten billion in guarantees yeah. and climbing. Who knows the number? I mean, if they can't put money into dealing with the, this group, of this this whole uh, society of young people that have futureless futures that have hate levels that we could never imagine, and their minds, as I said, are whacked out on drugs that we never knew existed, you're going to see problems in this country. And one of the things that we really need to do is address this problem in a very intelligent way, which, of course, means government won't be able to have a hand in it. Yeah, the other problem, Gerald, is if I might say, and add on and, and extrapolate just a, a drop here, not only are they whacked out on drugs, but they're whacked out on the drug of media. This is a media culture. These people don't think anymore. They're programmed to go out and react to stimuli, whatever it may be, a pro sports team, a product, a beverage, it doesn't matter, clothing. They're simply reactive robots. And unfortunately, the intellectual development that most of them possess is its almost zero. They're pushed through schools. They're not forced to learn to read and write. They don't read and write anymore. They text everybody if they do anything at all. And these text, you know, these little cell phones, these texting devices have predictive text. Gerald, you know this. And it, there was if you type the word uh, there, and most of them couldn't even spell the correct version, T H E I R or T H E R E. All you got to do is get the T H in there, and the, the 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 cell phone will finish it for you. And the words, they're not even, ha they don't have to spell anymore, Gerald. I know. And, and, and so what we're, we're saying, for example, uh, what, first of all, what's bad for Wall Street is great for Main Street. Wall Street created the conditions, the terrible conditions we have today. So when I hear these, these pundits saying that we need this or that to get us back to normal, and they call this <laughs> normal, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, holy you know what? Normal. They're the ones that killed Main Street yeah, by putting true. these deals together yeah. Yeah. with no money down, and the politicians in their pocket. They built these huge malls, office complexes, and got all the loan guarantees, grants, tax breaks, infrastructure. You name it, they got it, mm -hmm. and they sapped the life out of Main Street. Well, now we're seeing all of this fail. I'm mentioning this because... With the people that follow during this greatest depression that we're, we're entering into will fail. You have to have Great Depression self-defense to survive. And when you go back to the last depression in the 30s, 21% of this nation was still on the farms. Now there are more people in prison than on the farms. That's true. And and so what we're saying is that, for example, as you point out, these kids don't know how to think, but they could be learned, they could be taught how to do things with their hands. Even the peasant knew how to mend a fence, and plant crops, and when to sow, and when to harvest. The peasant you're, you're right. knew how to you're do. You're so that. right. But the only problem with that in our society, it's a huge one, is that that's not cool. And the media tells our young people to be cool. 
Well, Dress again, right, this is why it right. has to be coming at it from all the different angles. Yeah. And by the way, as trend researchers, that's exactly what we do in the sense that we make connections between different fields. So, for example, as we're going through this economic problem right now, they're only addressing it in economic terms. Correct. So it has to, and you, you, I mean, you hit it on the on the mark with the culture. I mean, my God, they're going to look back in history and say, "Oh yeah, what they did." was they elevated the lowest common denominator, the criminals, the gangsters, that didn't, they wouldn't give them belts nor shoelaces because they were so violent they would kill people with them, and they made a fashion statement out of it and created a whole pop culture from it. So, I mean, of, of course, so that, all of that has to be reversed if we're going to move into a productive future. If we are, and uh, that, that's a big if right now, the idea of returning to the way things were, of course, is perhaps the biggest lie of all. That's not going to happen. We're going to slide into a break here. Trends Research Institute, Gerald Salenti's uh, invaluable resource for trying to survive in an incredibly depressed economy. This is the greatest depression. Go there, take a look, and in the upper right corner of the, uh, of the homepage there, you'll find an excellent YouTube video with Gerald, who is, again, uh, he, in a way, is our man, and I, all of us really care about reality. Gerald is, uh, is the only man at the highest level of the media game here who is speaking the, the, the God's truth. He is a true visionary, and without Gerald up there talking, I, I don't know where we'd be. Well, I do know where we'd be. We'd be worse than what we are now. We've got hope with knowledge. Remember, wisdom and knowledge are the most important currencies in all of these bailouts for all of us, folks. I will be right back in just a minute. Back with Gerald Salendi, the world's number one trends forecaster, Trends Research Institute, trendsresearch.com. If you're not online, if you are, just go to the guests section at rents.com and take a ride to Gerald's uh, brilliant site and do subscribe to his newsletter. you will It's the map. It's the road map we need, uh, all of us. Uh, and I don't know anyone who's doing anything even close to what Gerald is doing or has been doing for quite some time. All right, well, Thank you for that, Jeff. I also want to mention, yeah. you know, that we know people are going through difficult times. So we have a, a something on our order form that if you're financially distressed, unemployed, disabled, a student, whatever, you know, if you're having any kind of difficulties, we'll do our very best to get you the Trends Journal at a price that they could afford. Well, you're you're amazing. You're a real human being in, in a world that is populated with an awful lot of folks who I would uh, certainly call well, human. Well, there are a lot of there are a lot of good people out there, yourself and your listeners, and there are a lot of people that care very deeply about this country. Well, they do. And and you know, <laughs> to coin a phrase, you know, now is the time for all good men oh, to come to the aid of their country. Indeed. Uh, I hope we can get access to the reins of power and make the changes we need to try to preserve what's left of this country and, and maybe, over time, uh, put it back on the path it w once was. After gigantic profits, need I tell you, folks, uh, Big Oil made an obscenity of itself once again and is asking for, for tax breaks. I mean, th These people, they know no shame. They literally do not. The, the United Kingdom, the U.K., the oil industry there has asked the government in, in the U.K. for tax breaks to prevent a slowdown in drilling in the North Sea. It, is, it goes on and on, these, these headlines. And if you look in, at rents.com under the financial catastrophe, the world financial crisis featured story box. I've got news going up around the clock I, on this all day, every day, month in and month out, seven days a week. Now, you'll see... You'll see the story. It's all right there. You can read the headlines and get an idea. But I go back to that other thing that uh, made it quite clear that the, the European Union or the Eurozone is now saying it needs $35 trillion to get out of this, this current crisis.